Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ty and I'm coming to you with another video. I hope you guys are excited about the tutorial. Before you get started, I wanna make sure that you know you will be needing the DIY off the shoulder pattern. And I did a tutorial on that, so make sure you go check out that video to create the pattern for this particular tutorial. And it'll be in a link right here. And I hope you guys enjoy. Now to the video. You will need your DIY off the shoulder pattern to create the fold over pattern. The first fold over pattern piece should be the width of the chest and the arm. The second fold over piece will be the width of the chest only. The length of both pieces will be the same as the DIY off the shoulder pattern. Be sure the length of your pattern sits at your natural waistline because a peplum will be added. Now take your DIY off the shoulder pattern and fold away the chest and arm parts. This will be your bodice. Now here's your pattern pieces. You have your bodice, your two fold over pieces, and your peplum. And I also did a video tutorial on how to create this peplum. So make sure you go check that out. Now let's cut out our fabric. I am starting off with my bodice piece and my fabric is on fold. You need to cut out two pieces on the fold of your fabric for the front and the back bodice. Now I'm taking the fold over pieces and you will do the same for both pieces. I have my fabric on fold and I lay my pattern piece on the fabric. I take my finger and mark the end of the pattern, then fold my fabric again. I lay my pattern back down, being sure that it is properly aligned with the folds. Then I cut. And you will do this for both pieces. For the bigger piece, you will only need one. And for the smaller piece, you will need two. And as you can see here, I did the same thing that I did for the bigger pep um, for the bigger fold over piece, and I'm cutting two of the smaller pieces instead of just one like I did with the bigger piece. I'm not going to show you the second piece on the video, but I did cut two pieces. Now I'm cutting my peplum by folding my fabric twice. First I folded it hot, hot dog style, then I folded it hamburger style, and I also show this in my video tutorial. Then I lined up the center with the double fold of the fabric, then cut out my um, fabric using the fabric shears. All right, here's your fabric pieces. Two bodice pieces, one full peplum, one large fold over piece and two small fold over pieces. Now let's cut out our interfacing. Fold your fold over pieces in half and lay the interfacing about an inch away from a vertical edge and a horizontal edge, then cut away the excess. And you're gonna see me do this in just a second. I have my bigger fold over piece here folded in half and it's about an inch away from a vertical edge and a horizontal edge and I cut away the excess now I'm opening up that piece and I'm placing my interfacing into in the center of the fabric make sure it's centered and then fold that piece back over and now you're going to use a steam iron or use an iron and iron that interface interfacing to where it becomes um, tacked together. The fabric becomes tacked together. And make sure that your steam is really high and you're pressing really hard to get the best results. And you're gonna apply this to the fold over pieces only. So you're gonna apply it to the, the bigger fold over piece and then the two small fold over pieces, as you can see here. I also hem my peplum with interfacing, but you don't have to do that. You can just hem your peplum on the on the sewing machine. Now we're gonna go ahead and hem our armholes on both bodice pieces. 
Now take both bodice pieces and sew along both side seams. Be sure the right sides of the fabric are facing. Now turn your bodice right sides out, peplums right side in, line up both waistlines by placing bodice inside of the peplum, then sew along the waistline. I'm sorry if you hear me sniffling. I'm, yeah, it's the weather. Now get your three fold over pieces, place the large piece with the fold facing up, and take one of the smaller pieces and lay it on top of the bigger piece. Sew along the seam. Bring sewn pieces together and lay the other smaller piece on the other side. Sew along the other seam. Now because I decided to change the look of this design last minute, I am now adjusting the two smaller pieces by folding them in half and cutting along the fold. Now, you're just pretty much seeing me clean up my edge and I'm just cutting away the excess, lining it up perfectly. Now fold over the um, smaller pieces, make sure you just hem the outside and just fold it over about a half an inch. Now you're seeing me pretty much fold over my, fold my fold over piece in half and I snipped it in the center and I'm doing the same thing for my bodice piece here I'm folding it in half and I'm snipping it in the center I'm not actually cutting it I'm just snipping it at the top as a guide because now you see that I'm lining up the two center pieces and something that you didn't see in the video is I actually turned my bodice piece inside out. So make sure you turn your bodice piece inside out because on the video, I'm pretty much pinning all of this on this video, which I am pinning it right. So make sure you follow the pinning. But I had to take off all of those pins and turn my bodice piece inside out and apply it correctly. So make sure your bodice piece is inside out and your fold over piece will still be facing um, the inside facing up. And I would suggest just following along as I pin. As you can see, I am pinning strategically. And what I did was I first pinned the front and then I turned it around on the back and I folded, on my, folded my fold over pieces right on the seam because you wanna keep an opening so you can fit your arms inside because this is an off the shoulder um, top. So you wanna make sure you create that opening with that fold over piece attaching to the bodice. And then you just sew along the raw edges. And here I am, I'm pretty much complete. The, um, the top is now complete. And I'm just playing around with it and I'm um, just folding it over, about an inch over. Pretty much when you um, put your top on, you can just adjust it to whatever way you want to wear it. And this top can actually be worn two different ways, front ways and back ways, because the fabric that I did use for this particular top is, is stretchy, it's very stretchy. And yeah, it can be worn like front ways like that like a fold over top and it can also be worn like a cape kind of you know in the back if you turn it around and I do show on the pictures um here how you can do that well I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video